I feeling then? Excited? Nervous? Ready uh, to rock and roll? Um, <laughs> probably all of those, yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. Just ready to get on, get on the train, get gone. And then once we're there, I think I'll settle down a little bit. <laughs> what do you think, babe? You excited? Love it? Uh. <laughs> Let's do this. Well friends, it's been three whole months since we last uploaded a video and while we never meant to have that long off, life just kind of got in the way and time flew by. And we're not going to lie, we sort of enjoyed the break. But we haven't just been sitting around on our backsides doing nothing. We've been preparing ourselves and our van Cassie for a trip that has been two whole years in the making. That's right. This week we finally, finally make our way across to Europe. So we're here. We're in France, baby. At our first free air. Yeah, love it. This is kind of what we've been looking forward to, I think. Yeah. Just the freedom to go anywhere. And we've already noticed that there's a point to empty your grey tank just over there for absolutely free. You can fill up with water. And I think there's an electric charging point here as well. Um, both of those you have to pay for, but it's like a couple of euros. So immediately much better than what we're used to. And what do you think? You went to sleep in England and you woke up in France, didn't you? <laughs> so of course we stopped by the supermarket and got the cheapest bottle of wine. Not the cheapest. No? Never go for the cheapest, no. Second cheapest. <laughs> That's the trick. Same as in a restaurant. Don't go for the cheapest. Second cheapest, yeah. <laughs> the second cheapest bottle of wine, which was what, three euros? Something like that, yeah. So anyway, how is it? It is, um, it's drinkable. Yeah? Yeah. Can't say much more about, about it than that, but yeah, it's fine. All right. We are in Bruges. We um, had a bit of a tricky time. Well, not actually in the end, but we thought it was going to be a tricky time getting to the air that we stayed on, didn't we? Mm. Like there's roadworks all around the outside. So we kind of like went down the bit that you weren't supposed to go down. And then this woman very helpfully started telling us that we needed to go back out and like left, left, left left over, over the bridge, bridge under the bridge <laughs> round yeah we were like mm, okay all right <laughs> and then luckily the one of the guys came out that was doing some of the works and he just moved all the cones and just was like yeah just come this way <laughs> <laughs> so it's dead simple in the end so anyway yes we are in bruges we are staying at an air that is just outside the city center i think it's maybe going to take about 10 15 minutes to walk in that's what we've read something like that anyway we'll see. um yeah we're gonna go in and explore We don't actually have much of a plan for our time in Bruges. We're probably only going to be here for one day. We didn't really intend to come. <laughs> we were actually originally going to be getting the ferry from the UK over directly to Spain. Mm -hmm. And then P&O collapsed, the prices went through the roof. So we decided that we would get the Eurotunnel instead, which cost about £200, which is way cheaper than the £700-£800 that the ferry would have cost. Madness. So we ended up in Calais, and from Calais we took a short trip up to just outside of Dunkirk, and then from there we nipped over into to Belgium, and we're going to spend a day here just wandering around, seeing what we can find. Yeah, we thought as we're so close, why not, you know? Well, what have we got here then? Waffles, obviously. First place we saw, we had to stop. <laughs> look amazing. <laughs> First brewery down, what do you reckon? <laughs> Not bad, was it? Yeah, pretty good. Do you know what is the um, 
quite a strange thing about it though. What's that? Out of that flight of beer that we had, I actually preferred the non-alcoholic one. The, it was really the good. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> yeah, so that bodes well for the day. Hey, we're back. How was your day? What an amazing day. Absolutely loved it. It's just such a pretty town. City? Is it a city or a town? City? City, yeah. Yeah. Bruges, we've been here before. I think we've been a couple of times. Sarah reckons we've only been once. Yeah. But we have been here before. Mm -hmm. We've explored it a little bit for a few days. But it's one of those places that I think I could probably come back to again and again and again and just enjoy it just as much every time. Yeah. Well, the eleven percent beer helps. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, there's so many bars for you to try out. That yes. That's why you'd want to come back until you tried them all. <laughs> Very true. But, but yeah, the, the city is just like the, the buildings, like the canals, like just even like the pavements and everything. Like it's just it's just such a beautiful place to walk around the parks. Like ah, oh, I could go on. So yeah, really, really enjoyed our day, and I think she did too, didn't she? Absolutely, she loved it. Yeah, she was very engaged. Uh, I think it's a, a pretty good place to come with kids very kid friendly yeah it might not seem like that from the outside uh -huh. because it's like the beer capital of belgium <laughs> yeah. but all of the bars the restaurants are very welcoming with kids we never felt kind of out of place with ad so yeah it was great yeah we even asked like the first place that we went into we asked if it was okay to take her the woman was like actually laughing at us like mm. are you joking like <laughs> it was just like a weird question to ask kind of thing so that is about it for today. It's um, 7.30, getting on for Adi's bedtime. I think we're just going to put it to bed. Chill out with a couple of bottles of beer that we bought. Yes, more beer. Um, <laughs> we're in Belgium, so of course. And then we're going to get up bright and early tomorrow and see where we get to. Just try to fill up with water before leaving this place and it costs 50 cents for a, a go of water so i've been trying to find some water at eight o'clock on a sunday morning in bruges some it's change. not the easiest some change sorry yeah um asked a few people no shops were open or anything like that so eventually i found someone that had some change and just put the 50 cents in and you get about half a litre of water for that so absolute rip off absolute waste of my time but i have to find somewhere else to top up sorted Ooh, sorted 25 euro which is £21.48. It's not bad. It's not. It's not for the centre of Bruges. Considering just, what you get for it, yeah. Just the water that's really annoying. That's annoying, yes. <laughs> I can live with that though. Okay, let's go. Okay, and in true the Holden off in style, we've got no idea where we're going. All right, we think we found somewhere that's just 15 minutes away where it's £10 a night for the parking, but the services are free. So we're gonna swing by there and see if we can pick up some water. Okay, we have arrived at some random location in the Belgium countryside. I'm not really sure exactly where we are, but it looks like a good place to, uh, to stop to park up for the night. We went to the supermarket en route, so we've done our shopping for the week, haven't we, babe? And um, yeah, we're all filled up and emptied. That place did have some water that we stopped by, so we managed to fill the fill the water tank. Um, yeah, that's about it. Jay's just making some lunch, and then we are probably going to have a little walk, chill out for a little bit, and then we've actually got to sit down and spend some time planning the route that we're going to take down through France and into Spain. Jay just said, remember to tell the chicken story, but I'll let him tell you it. I'm still too mad. <laughs> There's not too much to it. Basically at the supermarket outside, there was a van selling rotisserie chickens. They smelled amazing, so we decided, yeah, we'll go through it. We'll go and get one for lunch. Sarah picked one out that she wanted. The guy completely ignored that and just picked up <laughs> the first one that he saw. It was massive. And um, he weighed it, and when it came to pay, it cost 18 euro, 
18 euro. <laughs> when we say this chicken is massive, it's not that massive. No, it's not. It's that not big. like a turkey massive, it's just a normal chicken size. Yes, 18 euro <laughs> for a rotisserie chicken. That's almost the price that it costs for the rest of our shopping. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, so, it better taste good. So, here we go, this is the chicken. Not very big at all, actually. 18 euros! 18 euros! It's got to be tasty, it's got to be. Is it just that chickens are really expensive in Belgium or something? Who knows? <laughs> Cost of living has gone up. I did know that, but 18 euro for a chicken, by me. So how's that chicken? <laughs> it's nice. It's fine. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just, I'm not sure how much I can enjoy it knowing how much it cost. But anyway, let's just try and forget about it. Well, today has been spent just pretty much chilling out, just relaxing. We've yeah. um, been kind of in the van with the door open, just looking at the scenery. The weather's cleared, so it's an even better view now. It's incredible across a big valley. You don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's kind of drenched in sunshine now. It's about half seven. We're just going to grab a bite to eat. A bit more of that chicken. <laughs> Got to get our money's worth out of it <laughs> and a few other cold cuts and um, I think that's pretty much it. We're going to have a, a, a beer, relax, put Aidy yeah. to bed and then just chill out for the rest of the evening. One thing that happened when we left the UK because France is an hour in front is it automatically moved Aidy's bedtime an hour later which has actually been really good because she was kind of wanting to go to bed around 7 in the UK which is quite early to have your dinner and <laughs> settle down and and kind of be quiet for the rest of the evening so it's good for us now that that's a little bit later and yeah we get a bit more of a, an evening together with the babe although i think she's quite tired now <laughs> we've woken up to another stunner of a morning beautiful sunrise Yes, last night was really peaceful, right? It was, it was really, really nice. I slept really well, I think she did as well. Such a, a quiet park up. Mm. Um, this morning, we woke up pretty early, about 6, 6.30, something like <laughs> yeah. that. Sarah's already been out for a run, we're just about to have our breakfast. Overnight oats, we're back on that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's um, Aidy's first time though! Yeah, she seems like she's enjoying it. We've already started painting the wall, so that's good. <laughs> Someone asked if they could buy our van the other day. <laughs> I think after a week of her <laughs> peeling it and spreading overnight oats in it, I'm not sure that anyone will want to buy it ever again, but there we go. Um, and we haven't decided what we're doing yet today, so we're going to have a conversation about that over breakfast and then see where the day takes us. Alright, do you want to tell everyone what we've decided, AD? Just <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to translate that? We have decided that we're going into France. We found a place that's an hour away, I can't remember what it's called, but it is a little town or a village. Apparently it's got some fortifications and it has got a baker, a shop, all that kind of business. But it is a free air, so it looks quite nice from the pictures. So we're going to go there and see what it's about. Back to France! Ooh. Let's go! We've all just had a shower, which was lovely, wasn't it? So we're all cleaned and we are gonna have some lunch. We just had a cheeky little nap as well, didn't we? <laughs> and then we're gonna go out for a walk and see what's in the area around the town, see what's going on. Just knocked up a very quick lunch. Yeah, we're still going with that chicken from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> gonna eat every last morsel of it. We are, the bones are gonna be for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chicken, some potatoes and a bit of salad. Really simple. When it's warm weather like this, this is the kind of food that we like to eat. Yeah, we'll just eat this every day probably Pretty for much three every months. Day. Yeah. <laughs> as we're on our way out, may as well just show you where we are staying. That's us just behind. There's a few spaces um, that are like designated spaces and then a bit further down there's just a bit of hard standing where I think you can park if you want to. And then that's where all the facilities are. So that is the empty, the fill up and bins over here. 
so it's pretty good. So if you've travelled France before in a camper van, you're probably thinking that we are absolutely nuts, like getting to all these airs and being like, oh my gosh, look at these facilities and that they're for free. This is incredible. However, if you've also traveled in England or from England, you will know that, well, they don't exist for free, definitely. And the fact that there's just so many here and you don't have to even think about like where you're topping up and where you're emptying and like rationing water and like all that kind of jazz that makes camper vanning sometimes a little bit stressful, mm. then yeah, it's just, I don't know. A breath of fresh air, see that what I did there? <laughs> fresh air, air. <laughs> no, I didn't get it until you explained it. Here we go with dinner. Really simple. A bit of bread, a few bits of meat, tomato salad. What do you reckon? It looks amazing. <laughs> like I'm loving these tomatoes. Like we They're just great. keep eating them pretty much every meal. <laughs> she is just all over them, so yeah. Good for me. Can't beat it. Come on, let's get stuck in. We really enjoyed Rockray yesterday. It was, it's a lovely little, I suppose it's a village or, or a town maybe? Yeah, small town. Mm. I went for a run this morning. I went the whole way around the town. I think it's probably just about two kilometers okay. around. So it's, it's pretty small, um, but it's got everything that you want there and it's got a lot of history as well. So it was, it was really nice to have a wander around. We enjoyed that. This morning we set off pretty early because we wanted to get down to the Champagne region and that's where we've just arrived at a little champagne producer that offers free parking overnight. They've got all the facilities here. They're really friendly when we turned up, very welcoming and yeah. showed us a space and we booked a tour and a tasting for later on this afternoon. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Me too. And it's amazing as well that you can do the, the tasting and stay here. You don't have to drive anywhere. Yeah, so you, you... exactly. It's, it's just it's just perfect, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And we had a little chat with the, the guys. I assume that they're the owners. Um, it was not the easiest because we don't speak great French. Yeah. And they did speak a little bit of English, so I we keep, got by. <laughs> I keep speaking Spanish. I'm like, just you better just speak English now. I don't even know like why Spanish is coming out of your mouth. Like it's making it worse. So it's yeah. complicated even more. <laughs> they told us that there's a nice walk to do as well down the canal nearby. So we're probably gonna have some lunch and then head out and explore a bit around where we are. I think the um, the person that's doing the tour might speak English though, right? I doubt it. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> so one of us has been working and two of us have been out on a lovely walk in the sunshine and are now chilling on the bed. Yeah, it was a nice walk actually. It's a really nice area. There's a canal about 15 minutes away from where we are right now. Um, and yeah, so quite a nice walk along the canal. It was in the shade of some trees, which was nice because it is about 26 degrees outside. However, one thing that I didn't see, and I still haven't seen, is a single grape, a single vineyard. <laughs> We're in Champagne region. <laughs> Last time we came, I just remember there being vast waves of vineyards. Not seeing a single one this time. Set so, today marks a sad occasion. Why? I'm sorry to say, very somber. It is the last time we're going to be eating that 15 pound chicken, 18 euro chicken. We've just got the legs left. Okay. Four meals we've had out of it. <laughs> that's still, at least that's not too bad. That seems like better value, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, and then after that, it's exciting time. No more chicken. Um, I was thinking more about the uh, tasting for the champagne. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> I was, I was thinking, I was saying, it's gone. I can forget about it. I don't even have to look at it anymore. Both, both exciting. <laughs> yeah, anyway, champagne tasting. Let's have our dinner. We don't have much time. And then we are off to taste the champagne. We left the champagne region early this morning. It was a very brief but really enjoyable visit and um, we've traveled a couple of hours south to a little town called, I think it's pronounced Epineu, maybe. Um, 
and this is slap bang in the middle of another wine region. Now I don't know what that region is called but the way that I know that it's a wine region we've finally seen a load of vineyards. We had some lunch, um, had a little wander around the town. Sarah's got a bit of work to do now so me and AD uh, at a loose end and I've spied something that I think might be fun. did a very nice intimate wine tasting. It was just me and AD there. I tasted four wines, they were all delicious. Um, one of the white wines that I had was literally from the vineyards that are just out the back and um, it was really nice and they said that it was one of their most popular ones and becoming more popular as well because it's so local. So I got a bottle of that. All right, dinner's on. And the babe's asleep just outside in the push chair there. We've just been on a walk. So I say we uh, crack this champagne that we got yesterday. Yes. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> so that champagne was nice last night, no? Oh, delicious, yeah. Lovely. But do you know one thing that annoyed me about it? What? We could have bought another bottle for the price that chicken cost. <laughs> that was a pretty epic drive. It was. We started off doing only like one to two hours a day, mm. but then we um, quite quickly realised that it was going to take us a very long time to get to Madrid. Yes. So we've had to up our game a little bit, haven't we? Mm. So what have we done today? About three hours. Yeah. And I think maybe similar yesterday. Yeah. Do you reckon we're any closer to Madrid? I don't know. Should we I check? Mean, we should be, but... <laughs> it depends which direction you drove in. I know. We're not really taking a direct route. <laughs> okay. Yesterday we were about 18 hours, I think. 18 and a half hours. Yeah. We're not... Um, we've got um, avoid motorways on... Google Maps as well, so we're, we're definitely not driving the most direct route, are we? Because yeah. well, we don't want to be driving on motorways. <laughs> exactly, and we're avoiding tolls as well. Yeah. Not because we don't want to pay the money, but they tend to be the faster roads. Yeah. So we're doing it kind of on the back routes so that we get to see a bit more of the countryside and all that kind of stuff. And we are now. Are you ready? <laughs> 15 hours and 52 minutes away from Madrid. So we've got two hours closer? Yeah. Okay. It's all right. What? It, no, it is all right. It is all right. But we were, we drove three hours, but we we're only two hours closer. We went southwest. We didn't just go south. Ah. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's we're good. getting there. We're getting there. But three <laughs> hours a day, we could do that in what? Five days. Yeah. Yeah. So a week, we should be there. Yes. Maybe. So AD and I are just out on a little bit of a walk while Jay has a rest and has a little bit of a nap. He's been doing all the driving and it takes quite a lot of concentration, you know, driving on the other side of the road and trying to decipher what road signs mean in a different language. Obviously I could help with some of it, but the bulk of the responsibility for that is on him as the driver. So yeah, he's a little bit exhausted when we've been doing these, these three hour stints today and yesterday so we're gonna let him have a little rest all right we're back how are you feeling feeling a bit rested um no <laughs> still tired permanently tired that's just how it is at the moment isn't it <laughs> i was just saying how it takes a lot of concentration driving mm. like it's not just the same as driving in England, like no. driving in a different country is a whole other level of Absolutely. concentration. Not only that, but I'm also trying to look around as well. Well, I am looking around and look at the environment and trying to enjoy the drive. So, yeah, there's kind of loads of layers to it, but yeah. <laughs> All right, time to wash up. I've got a mountain of washing up. Well, it's not a mountain actually, it just looks a lot because we're in such a small space, but yeah. What um? What do you think the chances are of us getting a, uh, a dishwasher? <laughs> We've got one. 
Give it five years, we'll have another one. <laughs> That's what I was just gonna say. So we've got a little bit of a problem. We ran out of internet, haven't we? I mean, to be fair, we didn't really think it through before we left. Like we knew we would have some on roaming um, and we're planning on getting a proper SIM card when we get to Spain so because we can use our um, family's address there but now we're not really sure what to do in the rest of France um, so I think we're just going to try and buy some more on our own networks but we've got no internet to do that so we're going into the village this morning to try and sort that out I think we found some. Maybe. Just, um, I'm going around. Do you remember, people used to do this like back in the day. Did they? Like, yeah, 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 they used to go around with their laptops, I think it was, like drive around neighborhoods to find an unsecured network and just sit there using their network. <laughs> 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 Genuinely, probably like 20 years ago, showing my age now. But yeah, I was just wandering around with the um, Wi-Fi thing open on my phone and there is an open network outside the post office. So I'm just going to have a look, see where I can log in. And that might solve our problems. So what do you think about this place? It's all right, yeah, not bad. It's not bad, is it? Pretty nice views. All right, AD and I are away out exploring. We need to try and stay in the shade though because she's flat out refusing to wear her hat or her sunglasses. So there's that. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go see what this lake's about. Well, I think that was reasonably successful, don't you AD? We had a play in the sand and we had a little paddle and you didn't get any sand in your eyes or in your mouth. So yeah, pretty pleased with that solo parenting this afternoon. And if you are wondering why AD and I are out on our own without Jay, um, basically we just tried to make sure that each of us, as in Jay and I, gets half an hour alone um, without the other two <laughs> every day. So I've been out on a run this morning, so Jay's just taking some time this afternoon to, I don't know, do whatever he wants to do. Um, living in a small space is something that we found is pretty important to make sure that happens. Otherwise you just feel like you're all on top of each other all the time and don't get any time to just be by yourself and do things that you want to do. <laughs> we have woken up to an absolute stunner of a morning today. Beautiful the sunrise this morning, wasn't it? Yeah, sun rose over the lake reservoir, whatever it is. I think it's a reservoir because we passed over a dam on our way here. Yeah, man made lake, there which is go. a reservoir. That'll do. <laughs> um, and yeah, just absolutely stunning blue skies, lots of sun. Can't wait to get out and explore because I didn't go out yesterday. Sarah and um, the babe went out to the beach. That sounded like a lot of fun. Yeah, I went on a run this morning and, and ran past it and it looks incredible. So I'm looking forward to getting really down there. Nice. Breakfast time, got some overnight oats. And then um, I suppose we're going to start the day. We've decided that we're going to stay here for another night. Yeah, it's really quiet, isn't it? And it's mm. Friday night. I can't believe like no one else has parked here. We saw like a few of the campers drive past and yeah. like we, we're thinking, oh, it's going to start getting busy now. And then just no one else is parked here. So it is very strange considering the places that we were last night, there were more than 30 campers. Yeah, it was busy, wasn't it? It was nice, but yeah. not a spot on this. Exactly. I know. So yeah, I think we might stay here for the weekend. All right, that's it for this week, folks. We are just gonna head off and grab a drink in a bar overlooking the lake and chill out for the evening. Absolutely. Um, this week has been absolutely incredible. 
Yeah, yeah, it has. It's had its ups and its downs. The the most of the downs were due to us, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just getting used to kind of living in the van again and being on the road again. But I tell you what, France is just an absolutely incredible country to be in a van in. Yeah. It is set up for it. It is. It's just so easy. Mm. Like, we haven't had to think at all about waste management no. and managing our water or anything because you can just fill up and empty literally anywhere. Absolutely. And the facilities, the majority of them are free. Yeah. And they're good. Yeah, they are. The UK has got a lot to live up to. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, we're about midway through our France journey. We've got probably about five or six days left before we hit Madrid. And that's what we'll be showing you next week. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new around here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well, so you get notified every time we post a new video. And we look forward to seeing you next week. See you then. Next week, there will be extreme haircuts, stunningly beautiful chateaus, enormous baby bells, excrement tainted park ups, bizarre baguette vending machines and otherworldly scenery as we make our way to the Pyrenees mountain range and into Spain.